Hello Bulldogs, let's look at what's coming up this week. On Monday, we've got girls volleyball and football. Tuesday is Senior ACT Coding Day, seniors only on campus. And check out those sports. On Thursday, it's the Hippie Dress-Up Day. There's an FFA meeting after school and V36 are online with teams, a volleyball game and soccer. And then don't forget to wear your purple and gold. It's Makeup Picture Day and there's football at Green Hill. Alan Bailey and Cavern Keel interview Mrs. Brady about the Bulldog Bank. How do you set up an account with the Bulldog Bank? It's very easy. You just come by during your lunch period. You'll need $3 to open your account. And what that does is that gives you the ability to save money here on campus. If you need it during lunchtime, you can just come by and get it out and withdraw. Um, if you need change for something, there's no charge for that. If you don't have an account with us and you need change, it's a quarter for every transaction. Okay. Um, we were we were wondering how safe is our money in the Bulldog Bank? It is very safe. Um, it's just like banking at any bank in the area, except you have the access to it here on campus during the day. Okay. Are there any benefits with the Bulldog Bank? Well, you get the ability to have cash at hand. So let's say there's an event that you want to purchase a ticket for, but you don't have cash, you forgot it at home. You can come by the bank, get the cash, and then purchase your ticket for it. Okay. When does it open? The bank is only open during lunchtime. How do you feel about doing this as your first year? And this is being the replacement of Ms. Casey. <laughs> um, it's been interesting, uh, the transition, but it's a COVID year, so nothing is normal anyway. Um, but I'm excited to be here. I've actually worked in banking in the industry um, a long time ago, because this is my 18th year of teaching. But um, I'm excited to be a part of it, and um, hopefully we'll get to grow it and get to do some great things this year. Is there anything else that you would like us to know about the Bulldog Bank or anything? Um, just come by and open an account. We'd love to, to meet everybody, and it's simple and it's easy, and it gives you a way to save money, especially with Christmas coming. You can put a little back here and there and then get it before Christmas break starts. Have you ever been inappropriately contacted by a stranger online and how was it? Uh, no, I have not because I just recently got on social media so that hasn't happened yet but it has happened like in person. So what happened in person? 
So I was at work and I was just like doing my daily rounds, just, you know, checking up on the customers. And I don't know why, but this like old man decided to like touch my face and tell me that I was beautiful. And I had to cut that off real quick. So like I told him, you know, sir, that was uncomfortable. You made me feel uncomfortable. That was inappropriate. Why would you do that? And he just kept saying, oh, because you're just so beautiful. So I walked off real quick because I was not having it. <laughs> Yeah, and your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, Mackenzie Winston. Okay. Yeah. Um, whenever someone contacts you online, like, asking you to get you into, like, some kind of sex ring or something like that, what should you do? You should, depending on what social media account it's on, I would probably screenshot it, that way you have some sort of proof, and I would report it to the authorities as soon as you possibly can. Um, if, if it's had gone, gotten too far out of hand, like, in the point where, like, they were coming to you and you didn't know what to do, you were too afraid to face the What was that last part again? I said, if you, like, are too afraid to, like, say anything to anyone, you should do that. You should try to do your best to report it, that way you don't get swept up any, any further. Child sex trafficking is, like, one of the number one problems this nation's facing right now at this time. Kids are kidnapped. They're they're sold into different countries. They're sold to different um, into different prostitution rings across the country. So as soon as you report it and you can tell somebody, the better. Thank you. Check out this week's College of the Week, Carson Newman University. An informational Zoom meeting will be held on September 14th. Scan the QR code for more information. Hey Bulldogs, let's look at the weather for this week. On Monday, it's going to be a chances of scattered thunderstorms with a high of 84 and a low of 63. On Tuesday, look for a 20% chance of rain and partly cloudy skies with a high of 83 and a low of 64. 
On Wednesday, another 20% chance of rain with a high of 82 and a low of 65. On Thursday, we'll have some afternoon showers. The high will be 81 and the low 65. And on Friday, football game day, we have a high of 77 and a low of 59 with chances of rain in the morning. Have a great week. Travis Scott went from this. That is so big now. To getting his own burger at McDonald's. On September 8th, McDonald's announced the Travis Scott Burger, which is a combo of Travis Scott's three favorite menu items. A quarter pounder of cheese, medium fries with barbecue sauce, and a Sprite soda with ice for $6. And reviewers are loving it. It's like the perfect McDonald's burger. I'm really a fan of it to begin with. I just like the juiciness of the meat, that seasoning with the salt and pepper. It just tastes really good to begin with. Now's your chance to apply for student council. Student applications are available either by scanning the QR code or going to the school website under clubs and activities. The application window is open all this week from the 14th through the 18th. 